So the back door, uh, I need to remove the panel here, uh, of course. And to do that, uh, we have to remove some of these parts. And there are two parts that are a little bit complicated. It's this one and this one. This one has a kind of a C-clamp, which is rather common for, for window uh, cranks and, and things like that, and door openers. And uh, this one has uh, threads. It's swirling like this, but inside here there is uh, a rather coarse uh, thread, and we need a, a tool to, to hold it in place and, and unscrew this part. There is a special tool uh, to do this. Uh, Cadillac uh, calls it uh, J2209 or, or 2269, I, I don't remember, something like that. Uh, okay, let's start with this one. Uh, I, need, I need my glasses for sure. And I need some more lights because I need to Let's see. And then I need my glasses and inside here, there is a possibility to push that. And then I use a special tool looks like this it's a uh, difficult for the camera to focus here like this and i insert this behind and try to catch So there it is. Looks like this. The C clamp is in the groove there. So first I use the, the screwdriver to, to push the C clamp out of the groove like this. And then I, I pick it up with this tool here and I pick it up and pull it out. Let me show you what it looks like, like that. And then I use this tool to just pull it out of there. The second one, this one, is a little bit more tricky. And I have made a, a special tool that looks a little bit like the one in, in, the, in the workshop manual. And the way it, it's used, maybe I can zoom in, is that we, we need to have it in here behind like that. And then we unscrew it like that.
is a locking ring here that we need to remove. That one looks like this. It goes into a, a groove there and locks this in place. So basically what it looks like is something like this. And here you have the grooves in which the tool need to be inserted like that so this is the tool i made for this this is now uh, was not that really difficult to remove Uh, I've I done this operation to the front door and that was a whole different story. I had to make a different kind of, of, of tool here. As you can see, it fits here. Because it was stuck, so I had to use much, much more force to get it out of there. That's how it goes. And I had to, to use some force, lubricate it a little bit with a rust solvent, and then use some kind of, of force. And finally, it was possible to remove it. So these are the, the, the tricky part of, of removing the door panel the rest is is rather simple um, we don't really need to remove this it can be left there it's only a number of let's look at it screws here uh, alongside here and then there are three screws here that's all the upper part is separate and it has only two screws one here and one in the rear over here so that's it so i i uh, figure i want to show you what the inside of the door looks like with the panel removed it's a little bit surprising to see that they they've gone that far they have covered every hole with some kind of, of tape here the bolts and nuts are covered with the goofy stuff <clears throat> here as well it's still a little bit soft um i would say by the look of, of these things here we could assume it has never been disassembled nobody has ever been inside here uh, that that's at least what what we could believe there has been some some uh, sound insulation here and there is some kind of of <clears throat> sealer here along the the this panel this door or whatever it is hatchet here and <clears throat> it's it's some kind of black tar or whatever it is so what what i have done and what, what i need to do is i need to spray i do that with everything
and uh, if I have to remove it, I don't know yet. I just spray everything <clears throat> that could be necessary to open. I don't know now yet if I have to or not. I mean, it, it's it's a little bit rusted down in the lower part, but but it's not really too bad. This door. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna open here. I'm gonna try to remove these screws here and uh, see why it's stuck. So what I do, I, I use a little bit of this rust solvent here on the screws and we'll see how, about, how that works. <clears throat> Unfortunately, some of the screws are, are stuck and it, it wouldn't be a problem to break them or grind them, but <clears throat> I want to save them as, as, as much as possible. So I take out the bit and try to see where it should be and then I hammer it in like that. And use my that's why I'm using a screwdriver with a bit this requires some more work this one is so bad I have to do a little bit differently. <clears throat> I think take my small Dremel and I cut Try to it needs some more force here. No, maybe I have a better one. is a very old screwdriver uh, huge and it works rather good for this kind of job the screw is of course rusted and, and so but 
I will probably replace it. Um, there's still one up here which is rather stuck. Let's make a last try. There's nothing. Same procedure.
you can see there has been some kind of insulation as well as well here Is a window lift motor. Here are some solenoids. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner because there's plenty of, of old rust and dirt inside here, old insulation. I'm gonna get out the, the vacuum cleaner and, and clean it a little bit here before I continue. Cleaned up a little bit and now the locking mechanism here works. You can see the solenoid for the opening here works. Uh, unfortunately, the lever here cannot be moved yet. And I believe this solenoid is there uh, because it locks, it prevents this uh, mechanism from being operated when the car is driving. When you put the, the gear shifter in drive, it locks uh, this solenoid and the solenoid, I mean, locks this and you can't move it. And that is how it should be, but it's stuck there. So what I see, the mechanism here is somewhat freed now, but as you can see, even if the solenoid were working, the axle is not rotating. And there is a lever here on the inside, which does not move. So the cause of the problem must be this lever here and the axle, which doesn't move. So that's something to address here. And everywhere is this gray, goofy stuff plenty of it they have put it everywhere probably to prevent noise or vibration i don't know it's amazing so now we are the workbench and um, i tried to figure out how this mechanism works uh, this is the lever for opening the door and it works it will pull here and the door will open when this uh, solenoid pulls down this axle, uh, it will free the tap here and that will separate these two uh, discs from each other, two mechanisms, and it won't open anymore. That's how it is supposed to work. Now, this axle is stuck, so we cannot pull down this axle. I'm gonna try to heat it up a little bit and I'm using a uh, protection here. I just want to heat the axle and not very much, just a little bit, but I don't want to uh, destroy the solenoid here. So I'm trying to just heat the axle here. I'm as well heating my fingers a little bit. I think that's enough, or I hope. And I need the spray can with some rust solvent. It 
it mo is moving a little, little bit. But always a start. That's a start. And the uh, vice is turning around. Let me fix that. I have to lock it. It's amazing, I have to look at more. I'm oiling it now just to, to try it. Then we will have to, it, it should be in some places oil and in some places grease. But just to try, I think it works. Now let's see this mechanism. Now let's see. Now with the mechanism, with the solenoid, it does uh, still, it's not in the bottom there. Now it is. And here it doesn't open anymore. So this is the position it would be in when we are driving and you cannot open the door and then when we are in a park position it will open.
So what I need to do is to weld, I need to weld this together. The axle together with the lever here. Easy. Now the parts are back in the door and the mechanism works as it should. Uh, and um, there was nothing really wrong with it. It was just necessary to, to uh, use some rust solvent and oiling things up new grease and oil and everything works well i don't know if the solenoid works i would guess that we need to spend some more uh, time on that but at least now the door opens and locks let's see if i can lock it Yes. And I can open it from the inside as well. Good. Because the doors, they have to work. The same goes for the front door. I fixed uh, that as well. Now it, it works here and I can open and close it. The solenoids and the, the um, electric part of it is not, uh, I haven't spent time on that yet. But I can open and close the door without any problem. So, back at the project board and for video number three, uh, door mechanism, the front door and rear door are fixed. I didn't need to replace any parts, I just needed to... Um, use some rust solvent and oil and grease and uh, uh, lubricating things up and now they work both the mechanism to open and the locks but uh, while working with the locks i was also looking a little bit at the power window the electrical motors connector cables and so on and i saw that perhaps we need to do some i need to do some work there uh, so I guess I move uh, this over to electrical and we will see it's not a priority I would say it's a lot of low priority to to get the windows uh, the power window to work but anyhow it will be something that I will look into when I do uh, the electrical uh, video Thank you for watching. Bye.